Welcome back. This is Dara with another non-binary update. So I was thinking about how as a non-binary person, I have been wanting to be able to find a way to describe my gender identity. My gender identity is not that of male. My gender identity is not that of female. So for the time being, I've been saying, oh, my gender identity is non-binary. Uh, sometimes I'll say things like it's um, androgynous or I'm queer, but I still haven't quite been able to figure out what feels right for me. In my office, in my counseling office, I have posters. They're like behind me so the clients can see the posters. And it says, um, there's three different posters. And one says, my pronoun is um, he, him, his. There's one poster that says she, her, hers. And there's one that says they, them, theirs. And I have a client who was sitting there and she was just kind of looking at the posters and she was looking at me and she knows that I identify as non-binary and she said, I'm Dara and my pronoun is Dara. And I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. So that's the first step I realized in which I could use my name as a pronoun instead of using um, they, them, theirs, which is something I did try and it just still hasn't felt comfortable to me. So then the other day I just kind of, I think I was getting dressed or something like that. And I was looking in the mirror and I was, you know, there was something that I used to wear and I hadn't worn it for a while. So I put it on and in my head, I was like, I don't know, like, is this too feminine? I don't know if this fits who I am anymore. Something occurred to me where I thought, because my gender identity is Dara. And then I realized like, oh my gosh, you know what? That's, that's what, at least for right now, I can say that my gender identity is that of Dara. So that means that's me. Under the non-binary umbrella, each person who's non-binary, um, your gender identity is you. And I mean that in the, the best of ways because being non-binary means that there are those infinite options about how you would describe your non-binariness. I know for me, I feel solid in this gender identity. I don't feel like it's fluid. I don't feel like it changes. So for me to say like, well, it's always uh, Dara as my gender identity, from there, I can base everything I'm doing from that. You know, I try on a shirt and I look in the mirror and I'm like, does this look like something Dara would wear? Um, that worked. Yeah, that's been pretty cool. And I wanted to share that with you just in case that's something that could help you if you're non-binary and you're kind of like, how do I describe my non-binariness to other people? What do I say? I have started letting people know that, so I'm non-binary and that means that I do have a gender identity for me personally, that's part of my non-binariness. I do feel like I have a gender identity and for right now, I call my gender identity Dara. That's what it is. It's a mixture of masculine and feminine, but you know, is it really? I don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. I can just say that it's Dara. So I hope this was a little something um, that could help you uh, as well as it having helped me. That's why I like to create these non-binary videos because from what I can tell, uh, there's a lot of you wondering about uh, these sort of questions in your head. So whenever I learn something about myself, I'm gonna share it with you. Uh, I just wanted to mention one thing in case you didn't know it. So if you are not sure, if you are non-binary, transgender, trans, basically you know you're not, you're assigned gender at birth. You don't feel like that's right, but you're not quite sure where you're going from there. Um, my book was just re-released in a new edition and it's You and Your Gender Identity, A Guide to Discovery. You can get it um, through a lot of different places, but if you get it from my website, which is at discoveryourgenderidentity.com, you get the printed edition of the book, um, I'll autograph the book and you get a free copy of the ebook with it, meaning there's a PDF version of it. So that way you can read the printed copy. And then if you want to have some privacy or if you're on the go, you can you know look on your mobile device at the PDF copy. Also 10% off coupon, type in YouTube at checkout, you get 10% off. The book is made for people who you know that you don't feel comfortable with your assigned gender at birth. And you're trying to figure out how uncomfortable am I? In what ways am I uncomfortable? This book helps walk you through that process so that by the time you're done the book, you're gonna understand better if there's something that you should do about the fact 
that you are uncomfortable with your assigned gender at birth. Um, I hope that can be of help to a lot of you. Again, discoveryourgenderidentity.com is where you can find that. I will be back again later with another non-binary update as well as other fun YouTube video things that I like to create for you. 